Good morning, Mustangs, and thank you for joining. It's Thursday, February 9th, and I'm Bill Shrew. In today's headlines, we have National Counselor Week at FSA, Valentine's Day festivities, and a look at future FSA students. But first, it's time for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. In light of National School Counselor Week, we sat down with our school counselors and got the opportunity to talk to them about their careers and lifestyles. No two days are the same. Advocate. Um, connecting the pieces. The students bring us where they are, what they have, what they don't have, and they look to us as their counselors to help them figure it out. It would have to be just support. We're always supporting any way we can. In middle school, I was having a really hard time and I felt like I didn't have a trusted adult that I could talk to. And then so when I got older, in high school, I took AP Psychology and it was my favorite class ever. It was the first class I ever read the textbook cover to cover and I loved every minute of it. I ended up majoring in psychology and decided that I wanted to be a school counselor. So then I minored in child and family development and then I got my master's and then I wanted to focus on middle school because I wanted to be what I didn't have. Um, we don't really have a single day that I would say our schedules go exactly as planned. Um, so we just have to kind of be prepared for anything. Um, and then aside from that, just kind of check in on our seniors within their college process. My favorite part about being a counselor. Oh, wow, that's tough. Um, so I think it's building the connections with the students. You know, I love when I'm able to build those connections, really get to know our students um, and what they're wanting to do in life and kind of their journey, what's led them even here. So we do individual counseling, of course. I do, I lead small groups. I do classroom lessons. When I'm not doing those things, I'm event planning or I'm also, I lead impact time. So I meet with our impact teachers and decide what curriculum we're gonna be using. Basically, my goal is just to prepare them for life beyond middle school. I studied chemistry, because I was so sure I was gonna become an anesthesiologist. And then had a change of heart, so I, became a Spanish major and so my bachelor's degree is in Spanish and I spent some time teaching Spanish but I spent a lot of time outside the classroom supporting my students helping them through problems they were having and just kind of being like an extra supportive adult in their lives so I decided to become a school counselor I really enjoy being a school counselor one of the my favorite things about being a school counselor is that I get to be with students um, I love when I have students come to my office and I get to talk to them one-on-one -on -one, or even in small groups um, and especially when I get to go to classrooms to teach lessons about all the different things um, that we counselors talk about, you know, friendship and making good decisions and study habits and all those kinds of things um, because I do still feel like a teacher uh, at heart. So. Speaking of FSA success, we should also always keep the mission of FSA in mind to deliver an educational framework designed to achieve the highest academic results and instill enduring strength of character by leveraging innovation and STEAM curriculums for college preparedness and lifelong student success. Valentine's Day is just around the corner, and what better way to show your love and appreciation for your friends, teachers, or special someone than with the Student Council Candy Gram. These sweet treats are a great way to make someone's day and bring a smile to their face. Prices range from $1 to $2, including your personalized message and choice of either sweethearts a mini Hershey bar, or a lollipop bouquet. All pre-sales will take place until Friday, February 10th in the high school hangout. Your sweet surprise will be delivered on Valentine's Day, ensuring that your loved ones will know just how much they mean to you. And that's not all, most things. Not to mention, MSO is hosting the annual Valentine's Dance on February 14th. Check your newsletter and homerooms for details. Just like we keep the mission of FSA in mind, it is equally important that we remind ourselves on the vision of FSA. Fulton Science Academy Private School endeavors to be a nationally recognized school serving advanced and gifted students committed to academic success, civic responsibility, global citizenship, and high ethical values within a safe environment that celebrates diversity and is nurtured by the collaborative efforts of all stakeholders. FSA's in-person school tours resumed earlier in the semester. On average, there are approximately four tours a week. Mustang News reporter Amira Islam takes a closer look at the purpose of school tours for prospective students. In-person tours for prospective families takes place multiple times a week. 
At times, there are as many as two hours a day for different grade levels, at least three to four times a week. Admission Director Pam Walsh and Assistant Katie Cohn not only walks families around, but also answers important questions about FSA. People want to know about class sizes, um, about what kind of acceleration is offered, uh, what we do for gifted students, um, you know, what foreign languages we offer. Also, uh, we get a lot of a lot, a lot of questions about our college acceptance rate and and what colleges our our seniors are choosing to go to and and um, surprisingly, we get these questions from all grade level of parents. During the height of COVID and FSA's hybrid school, school tours did not halt. In fact, Miss Walsh shared how she developed a virtual tour that mimics an in person tour. She made sure that all aspects of the virtual tour were informative, interactive, and visually appealing. What we do is I have a slide bank. It's got embedded video, so I just kind of go through the slides. Um, starts out with kind of a tour of uh, the, the front entryway and the clinic, and then we move on to uh, the different level classrooms, so like the um, elementary classrooms or the middle school and high school classrooms and while they're watching those videos uh, I just kind of talk through each of the programs. While she is not totally surprised by the response to in-person tours, the tour registrations are reflective of the growing brand of FSA. Tour groups, while they are organized by school level and most times, questions are not limited to one specific area. It is not uncommon for elementary parents to ask about college acceptances as they plan ahead for their student. For Mustang News, I am Amir Islam. It's time for the weather. We're in for cloudy skies for the next few days with scattered showers expected throughout. The highs today are in the mid 60s with lows in the mid 40s. Tomorrow, the highs will be in the low 60s with lows in the mid 30s. Be sure to stay dry and don't forget to grab your umbrella on the way out the door, Mustangs. In light of Black History Month, we share a quote from Rosa Parks, an iconic civil rights activist who reminds us to not be scared to take risks when she says, To bring about change, you must not be afraid to take the first step. We will fail when we fail to try. It's time for the joke of the day. Why do bees always have sticky hair? Because they use honeycombs. Stay safe and healthy, Mustangs, and don't forget to subscribe to FSA's YouTube channel. I'm Bill Shrew, reminding you that when we, you, and I care, we are always hashtag stronger together.